In this video, I'm just going to show you how to manage and install the new Creative Cloud plugins in the Adobe 2021 edition. Prior to the 2021 edition, we had what was known as extension panels. And those panels were accessible under the window menu, under extensions, and this showed a list of all your current installed panels. For example, I'm just going to load up Quick Mask, and this is a panel which I created some time ago to perform luminosity masking. So these are panels. I think by now that most of us are familiar with these panels and how to access them and install them, etc. Well, now in the 2021 edition, Photoshop have launched a new panel which they are referring to as plugins. They're going to work alongside the old panels for the time being, but if you notice when I went to window, now we have the word legacy next to the extensions, which indicates that sometime in the future these will be phased out. For those that are quite astute with their eyesight will have also noticed in the 2021 edition We've now got an, a new menu item called Plugins. If we select the plugins, it gives us three options to either open the plugins panel, browse for plugins, or manage plugins. So let's start at the top, the plugins panel. This will launch a pre built dashboard for the new plugins. This is what they call the dashboard, and this will house or list all your currently installed plugins that you want to install from here onwards. How do we get these plugins? Well, they're available through various means. One is we can browse for plugins, and this will take us to, to the marketplace of the Creative Cloud. We can see a complete list of all currently available plugins. Some are for the old system, some are for the new system. So not everyone on this list is going to be a plugin. Some may be a panel. And I suspect that in times moving forward, these will get migrated or converted by the developer into the new system. But this is where we can access the marketplace plugins. Some are free and some are paid for. Also under the list, we have an option to manage plugins. Again, this will open up the Creative Cloud. It will select the Manage Plugins that we're seeing on the left. And these are all the plugins and panels at this moment in time, which are currently available to this particular account, in this case, my Adobe account. These are available or have been obtained, should I say, through the Adobe Marketplace. There is another option now made available to us and that's where developers of the new plugins can send their plugin to somebody else to install or they can offer it on a website to be downloaded. And, and it doesn't have to go through the creative cloud authentication. So let's see what, actually, what that actually means in practice. Well, I've just created a new plugin for the new system. And as we can see, once I've created the distribution plugin itself, it comes in the form of a CCX file, which is a new file extension. So all that we have to do is that once you've obtained this CCX file, either by a download link on a website or somebody could email it to you, all that you have to do now is to get it into this panel is to simply double click on the file name. This will automatically open the Creative Cloud desktop and if this is coming through a third party, i.e. an email or a download link, you'll be presented with this dialog window, which is basically saying that the Creative Cloud application could not verify this plugin. It's not been authenticated or signed off by the Adobe team. That's fine. We're just going to install it locally, which means that it's available to this particular machine. And now we're presented with this dialog box. Again, it's just going to give you the name of the plugin that it's going to install. And it's saying that this plugin has been developed by a third party developer 
and you may be asked to enter your administrator password to complete the installation. That would be the administrator password for the computer and not your Adobe Creative Cloud account. It also goes on to say that to be sure to only install plugins from developers that you trust. Once you're happy with that, you select OK. The message at the bottom has told us that the plugin, in this case it's a shadow highlight clipping plugin, has been installed successfully. And here it is now appearing in your Creative Cloud dashboard. If we close that down now and close that, when we look at the dashboard for the plugins, it automatically populates for us. So this is the name of the plugin that we've just installed. It's indicating that there is our submenu because there's an arrow. So if we select the plugin, we can see all the available options associated with this plugin. So this is the plugins dashboard. As it's a panel, it can be floating or we can dock it. And I usually dock them inside of here. So we've got quick access to all the plugins that we have got currently installed. Again, I'm just going to go back to the Creative Cloud account and I can do that quickly by either choosing Browse Plugins or go to Plugins and Manage. There's the plugin that we installed and we've got three dots. And if we select that, we can either disable the plugin, which doesn't remove it from the computer, it removes it from the panel itself. So let's just choose Disable, telling us that it's now been disabled. And we can see that the plugin has disappeared from the dashboard. If we go back to Manage Plugins, we've got the option to enable it, or we can uninstall it completely. So if we choose Uninstall, warning us, do we really want to uninstall the plugin? Select Uninstall. And now the plugin has gone. It's left the computer and it's also no longer available in your marketplace dashboard. So this new plugin system, as you probably can see, is a lot more intuitive. We're no longer faced with issues that we had with previous panels. Things like the plugin wasn't time stamped and it would cause a lot of problems in the old types of the panels. But this new system has really simplified the way that we can get these new plugins into Photoshop and also out of Photoshop should we choose to go down the uninstall route. So that's just a quick overview on the new plugin system which is currently available only in the Adobe 2021 edition and editions moving forward.